So let me tell y'all what happened to me earlier today. So me and this guy, we've been talking for a couple of days and things were going good until he asked me the infamous question. <laughs> what are you looking for in a man? I simply said nothing. Huh? I'm not looking for anything. And of course he says, what do you mean by that? I said, just be yourself. I'll let you know if I like you or not. This is some of the most backwards logic that I have ever seen in my life. Stay tuned. <laughs> What's going on everybody and welcome back to another video. Don't forget, hit that like button on your way in, tickle that notification bell that will allow you to know every time I upload content, you know what we're gonna do. Say it with me y'all, we're gonna roll that clip. You lose! He said, hmm. okay, there's two reasons why I do that. Number one, I refuse to give you the blueprint to pretend to be everything that I want you to be. And number two, if I tell you what I want, that puts you in a position to become an idol in my life because it'll be like, oh my God, he's literally everything I could have ever asked for. And then I'll start to look to him more than I look to God. You are so dumb. You are really dumb, for real. He'll start to become my everything, which is not right at all. So yeah, I'm not looking for anything because I'm not looking for a man. That's number one. But also I'm not looking for anything because I want you to show me everything. You can't hide anything if I don't tell you anything. Fellas, you need to run. And you need to run from a woman like this very, 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 very fast. Know why? Because women like this love to say, Okay, I don't want a man. I'm not looking for a man. And yeah, you are. Men just ain't looking for you. You think that it's some protection mechanism that you're going to employ to your benefit because the men that you used to date or that you would date took advantage of you and now you feel like your delusional ways are going to help you. They're not. They're going to hurt you. You are looking for a man. Men just aren't looking for you. See, this is the trick of the trade, guys. What a woman would do is they will say they're not looking for anything, and then they want you to prove yourself to them. You're a victim. Mm. They want you to prove that you are worth their time. No, the woman should be doing that for the man, not the other way around. I want you to remember, guys, that if a woman ever dodges the question of what are you looking for in a man, and she replies, show me, or she replies the way this woman did, in the day, pay your time and leave. Run, bitch! Run! Get the hell out! Get out! That's all you can do. Because it's not going to get any better than that. This woman more than likely is overweight, number one. Number two, nobody's checking for her. And number three, you always hear her and better women talk about God. They're always talking about being close to God, being spiritual, being close to Jesus and close to God and close and they're, and they're in church and they talk about spiritual marriage and spiritual connections with guys. When in reality, you want a man so bad that you are willing to look to a mystery god in the sky for companionship instead of looking inward turning that mirror on yourself yep 
and looking at why you aren't getting a man. See, this is the reason why so many men are leaving the dating market because we, this is what we have to deal with. We have women that don't know what they want. The view or the sisterhood or nothing is trending right now on what women are supposed to want. So instead of her learning to accept the man for who he is, she wants to say, show me. Already putting the man in a subservient position to the woman by saying, prove it to me. Prove your worth. Prove yourself. We have nothing to prove. And you've been talking to this guy for a few weeks. So you went out on a date. Everything is going good. And then he hits you with the question. And instead of answering, you run from the question. These are the same women that will say a man is broke because he doesn't pay for the first date. This is the same woman. These are the same women that will say if you don't make 50k, if you make 50k or below, you shouldn't date. Now women are becoming the men that have the hold on the dating market and it's always an overweight sister trying to dictate how she should be treated out here on the dating market. The la Think about that. The last video that I did, you can watch that up here. Watch, watch the last video I did right here where I go into and I talk about how an overweight woman trying to say that if a man makes 50000 or less, he shouldn't be dating. It's always the overweight women that have the biggest mouths when it comes to dating and relationships. Why? Because they are sitting on the sidelines of a relationship. They're sitting on the sideline and everybody else is dating and they're not. So instead of them going to the gym, losing weight, making money, taking care of their appearance, making themselves more of an asset on the dating market, what do they do? Complain. That's what they're doing. So until you learn how to be a better candidate for the dating market, take my advice. Either go to the gym or go home. Either eat right or don't worry about dating at all. Because men were tired of dealing with overweight black women trying to set the standard of beauty and dating. It's played out. It's over. It's time for women to understand their place in the dating market. And until you can understand that everybody can't be a 10, and you're just a 3, 4, or a 5, then you're just going to be a delusional single woman. And that's the same reality of a lot of women out on this dating market. A lot of women have a nine or a 10 mentality, but they're a three or a four physically, mentally, and spiritually. Anyway, y'all, that's been it for today's video. Don't forget, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, tickle that notification bell that will let you know every time I upload content. And until the next video, peace.